All right, guys, welcome back to Just Carve Rob. And what are we carving? Well, we got a piece of 2 by 2 by 4 inch basswood, our fallback staple. Okay, and what we're carving is a Santa gnome. A Santa gnome. A Santa gnome. Okay. So uh, basically, it's just like our other gnomes, except this one's going to be a tree hanger. Got his big nose, no eyes, hat. Gonna be a real easy gnome to carve. Or elf, whatever you want to do. So we're gonna be starting out with a Dremel 4000 with our cut saw extreme burn. Remember, if you want to save yourself 5% on the cut saw extreme burrs, go to cut saw and use the code CARVE ROB in all capital letters. And save yourself 5%. I'll leave a link in the descriptions below. Okay? So make sure you check check down there. Check down in the descriptions below. Okay? Alright, so. Let's go ahead and uh, start carving. We'll fire up the uh, Dremel and the vacuum. And the, probably be using this here micro motor. Not with that. That's a ruby burr. Probably be using the micro motor. And uh, let's get started. I think I'll throw this uh, just for whatever's. I'll throw this uh, cut saw coarse, coarse silver burr in there. All right. All right. All right, guys, we got everything turned on, and here comes the dreaded voiceover. Voiceover, dreaded voiceover. Or, 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 or. Okay, so we got the Dremel 4000 with the Cutsall Extreme Burr. Flame, Extreme Flame Burr. Shop inspector's whining. I think she don't like it when I'm talking to myself. Well, how'd she know I'm talking to her? I don't know. Okay, so. We're uh, carving this uh, gnome elf, gnome Santa, whatever you, whatever color you paint it is uh, how you change the difference, I guess. Green hat is an elf, and a red hat is a Santa. That's what I'm going with, anyway. All right, hey Glenn McKelvey, how you doing out there, buddy? Go check out some of Glenn's carving over at the uh, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers original on Facebook. If you have Facebook. We're going to give this guy a little a little uh, dangle to the angle of his hat here. We're going to put a little uh, dingle ball on there. So it'll be flopped over. And, uh, yep. and remember, Larry Dibb over at Dremel Makers Studio. Dremel Makers Studio. Larry has entered the contest. Uh, I believe it is... Make a Christmas present with two different materials. And uh, Larry has entered a pendant, I believe. It's on a, on a necklace. Uh, so go over and check out Larry Dibb. And give him a vote. We're going to try and see if we can get Larry to win. Give him a little, uh, I think first prize is a, uh, $250 e-gift card. Maybe buy his uh, wife a little something with that gift card. Or maybe some carving tools. I don't know. But let's uh, go over and I voted for Larry. Give Larry a like. Or, uh, yeah. Give Larry a vote so that he can win. I'm sure he'd be happy with uh, first, second, or third prize. They're all pretty good. First prize is always the best, but Anyway, check out Dan Carprio, C-A-R-P-I-O. He's got a YouTube channel. Go check out Dan. Our buddy Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion. Go check out Jordy. Jordy, Jordy. The wood, number one wood hoarder, Jordy Johnson. It's all his fault, folks. And uh, we're all part of the carving fusion crew i guess yeah all of us follow jordy well i know i follow jordy i watch all of his videos 
Learned how to make wood spirits by watching Jordy's videos. Learned how, learned how to use a chainsaw and not hurt myself using watching Jordy's videos. And uh, Ryan Cook, I guess Jordy was up there carving with Ryan a couple days ago. Waiting to see the video on that, Jordy. When you going to post that up, huh? We're changing over our burrs. I uh, decided I didn't want that taper burr in there. Decided I want this burr. Which is the... Uh, it looks like a carbide flame burr. I do believe. Nope. It's one of them three-winged uh, burrs. Chinese that you get there on Amazon. Great burrs. But man, I wish they were made out of better steel. Because it don't take much to wipe these things out. When they work, they work a treat. But when they stop working, get rid of it. You're going to hurt yourself. Okay, so now we're going to a bigger one. Because that little one was dulled right out. Doing uh, I like the pointiness of them. It gets you, lets you get some sharp lines in. And we're shaping the nose up. You can see we got the hat mostly shaped in. Okay, I didn't want that one no more. Um, come on, Rob. What are you changing over to? All right. We're going to the... The... Uh, bah, 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 I said, let me think of the name. of Sabretooth Taper Burr. It's in green, so it's coarse. Their orange is their extreme. Uh, the green is coarse. Orange is extra coarse. White is fine. And I'm sure there's a color I'm missing in between there. But, uh, yep. Uh, works. These green ones work okay in the uh, micro motor. Uh, they're, they're a little uh, grabby for it, but they work. Just got to have use a light touch. No heavy hands with this, because... It will uh, run away from you quick. All right. Uh, say hello to Claire and Anna. I can carve BAP over there in uh, Belfast, Ireland. Ireland, I say. You'd be in Ireland. And uh, Mark the Maker and uh, Mike Stinnett at Stinnett Carving there. Stinnett Sticks. Kevin over at uh, Uncle Kevin Carves, and we got another Kevin over at uh, Sticks and Stones Carving. We got Gene Messer, the godfather of Flat Plains Carving. Always a mention, Gene. And uh, uh, Jax and Old Plantation and uh, Michael, and uh, there's a Mitchell and. All those guys, yeah, all, all the subscribers, I appreciate you all, all of you. Uh, Pamela Lee, uh, Lou Ann Tucker, how could I forget about Lou Ann? Lou Ann Tucker, Gypsy Rose, go check out her wood carving on Facebook, World of Woodcarvers Original. She's come along great with her wood carving. So make sure you check out Lou Ann over there. Pete Blair. The mad scientist Pete Blair. He's always doing some awesome stuff over there at the uh, World of Wood Carvers original on Facebook. Pete uh, supported my channel ever since I started up. I think Pete was one of my first subscribers. Pete's a heck of a guy. If uh, you need a, a flapper mandal, Pete sells them. Get a hold of Pete. You can go to uh, Facebook and type in Pete Blair. He'll, his name will come up. And if you need a mandrel, he makes one of the best ones out there. Pete Blair, the mad scientist. Pete does all kinds of stuff. Does a lot of charity work. You know, you gotta love Pete. And, uh, that's, Pete's a great guy. What else can I say? Jordy Johnson at Carving Fusion. All right, so you see we got this guy all shaped up here. Now we're going to sign him. We'll put our, our initials on the back and the date. Well, the year, we're not going to put the day of the day, but the, the we'll put the year on there. In our next video, we got quite a stack of Santa Clauses and uh, snowmen to paint, so... The next video will be a paint video. For those of you who like to paint videos, or always yapping at me about 
making a paint video. I'm going to make one uh, on all these little guys. I got to get them done. Christmas is rolling up on us quick. Quick. My poor old truck. My poor old Dodge Dakota is uh, experiencing technical difficulties. I lost the wheel bearing in it. Of course, when I took the wheel bearing apart, I found all the other stuff in the front end that were shot. So maybe a minute before we get to make another video, we're going to have to rebuild the whole front end of that thing. Take that out. Now, what are we going with? Back to that taper burr. We're going to cut his mustache in. What are you crying about, Shop Inspector? All right. And uh, it is cold in Michigan. Went from 60 degrees on uh, 60 degrees on Monday, and it's 37 today. And today is Saturday. So we'll probably be putting this video out tomorrow on Sunday. So happy Sunday, everybody. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are all having a good Sunday. Reflecting upon your week. Doing a little wood carving. You're doing wood carving too? I have, all I seen you was chew on sticks. Is that your wood carving? Yeah, she likes chewing on sticks. It recharges her bark. Isn't that right, Shop Inspector? It recharges your bark. You know, I had my ice fishing sh uh, shelter out. They call them a shanty here in Michigan. A shanty. And uh, I had it all set up and had a lantern in it. It caught on fire and burned down. So uh, I had to check my insurance to see if I had a had a, uh, a shanty clause in there. And uh, they said, uh, Mr. Vreeland, there is no shanty clause. Aw. So I didn't get nobody. That's a joke in case you didn't know. It's a joke. Shanty clause. Get it? A shanty? Shanty clause? Brum, bum, bum. Ah, gotta hate them dad jokes. All right. So, you can see we're uh, cutting that lip in. We're undercutting the mustache, so it looks like the lip is sitting back. I know this is a little guy. Who's going to look at the mouth? But just in case you do, you can see the lip actually goes under the mustache. All right? All right. All right, Spike? All right. Neil. Neil Freeman. How you doing, Neil? All you guys that are leaving comments, I appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like button if you would, please. Hit the like button. It helps out the channel. Share the video. Subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you like what we do here, please subscribe. Don't cost nothing. Uh, check out Ben over at Studio on the Lake. Ben, Studio on the Lake. Doing all kinds of stuff over there. Commission work and gnomes. And now we got a barrel cutter in there. Barrel profile. Uh, it's an aluminum cutter. You can get them in a pack of 10 from Amazon. They're like 15 bucks. It's a little over a dollar a cutter. And they are carbide. They're not the sharpest carbide in the world. Uh, but they work really well on cottonwood bark. Basswood, uh, the softer woods like that, pine, cedar, work all real good. Work good on all those woods, these uh, aluminum burrs. They only got one flute. It looks like a, the metal cutting ones have multiple flutes, and it looks like it's cross cut. Okay, for clear, that lets the metal clear out of the flutes. With the aluminum ones, they're, they just got one big spiral on them. Okay, so now we're, we have got a fine hair cutting knife uh, wheel in there, they call it. Get these at Mountain Wood Carvers. And uh, not affiliated. I've got two different sizes, and they work, they work good for putting in finer, deeper hairs because they're real skinny, like a knife. So I put in my heavy hairs with the barrel. And I put in lighter, finer hairs with this little guy. And I got one that's one size bigger. Now we're going to do the little dingle ball. Put some fur on there with the dingle ball. With this uh, knife cutter. And you can see it really puts the fine hair. We want fine hair compared to the beard, beard hairs. And we're going to put some fine hairs in the rough. The rough of the hat. Uh, the, the reason why they put fur around the top of the hat is to uh, diffuse the wind. 
they say. You know those old, uh, when I was a kid growing up, every winter you, your mom would buy you one of these parkas with a big uh, fur-lined collared hat, and you put it on, and you tighten that up, and it looked like you're looking through a furry little hole. Uh, the whole purpose be, uh, for that snorkel is so that it diffuses the wind before it hits your face. So I'm told. All right, so now we got a ruby burr there. Uh, we're me messing up the rough. Like the wind's hitting them in the face. Uh, we're just no particular pattern to this. We're just uh, putting that burr in there sideways and stabbing it here and there just to give it some texture, right? Do a little bit of that on the hat, widen up some of the uh, grain and the uh, rough or the dingle ball there. And we'll get in there and do a little sanding into the beard. And there's only one way I found to get all of the uh, all the fuzz. This this lot of basswood I got is particularly fuzzy. I don't think I've ever had basswood fuzz up this bad. Uh, somebody told me I could take it and put it in a mixture 50-50 of isopropyl alcohol and water. And it will soften the wood and it will cut down on the fuzzing. The fuzzy. Fuzziness. The fuzzy. The fuzzy wuzzy was a was a gnome yeah uh so but anyway the only way i found to get rid of the fuzzies is to hit it with a torch burn them back of course you are going to lose some detail so here's our little torch little handheld uh butane torch tried doing this without burning your fedangers i should have should have put a screw in a stick i might as well go ahead and make the back black make the back black burn your name in rob yep and then uh I couldn't find my nylon brush, so I, what I got there, they cut, they came with a Dremel kit. It's a little wire wheel. I got my uh, speed turned way down, probably to like uh, less than a thousand RPMs here, so it's really, really going slow. And even at that, it still spits most of the wire hairs out of it. These uh, cheap wire wheels from Harbor Freight, don't waste your money. They just, uh, even at that slow speed, it's flinging little, little wires out, and it's not good because uh, they get stuck in you and if you don't got your safety glasses on I'd hate to see somebody get one of them little wires in their eyeball so don't do it don't buy them buy yourself a, a Harbor Freight buy yourself one of them little handheld brass brushes probably works better than this stupid wheel thing of course I don't think they're designed for doing wood but uh, if, it mounts, if it flies out of wood like that, I can only imagine how bad it would fly out if you were actually using it on a piece of metal. And we got our Dremel, another Dremel 4000 without the flex shaft with the uh, piece of scotch braid in there just to buff them up a little bit. Alright guys, that's it for this one. Share, subscribe, like, be awesome, carve something awesome, carve every day if you can. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Alright, alright, bye bye.